So they're eating all that. Now they're also growing crops here. Corn, beans, squash, sunflowers, a uh, plant called sumpweed and a melon. So they're eating a very diverse diet. They're also hunting a lot of lean red meat, like deer and buffalo. Yes, there were buffalo here in Florida at one time. And these guys are not getting around on horses or oxen or anything like that. They're getting around on their own two feet in the canoe. So one, they had a, a very diverse diet. Eating very healthy. They had no salt in their food. They smoked all their meats. They had no salt, no sugar, no flour, and no alcohol or things we like. Mm -hmm. But or things we know are not very good for us. So along with eating that diverse diet, getting plenty of exercise just by walking everywhere, we now know that's what's going to make us young because you know, the first diet and exercise keeps us young and healthy. And these guys knew that 4,000 years ago. So the legend of Fountain Youth is that's just what it is. It's just a legend. There's no magical water that makes very young. It comes by a lot of hard work eating with food. You know, over in Europe, the food they're eating is very, very high in fat. We eat a lot of cows, a lot of hogs, a lot of sheep. Very high in fat. You know, not like today where we kind of lean everything down. Plus, there's salt in everything. So, a lot of alcohol. You see, their water is kind of contaminated. With all those cattle and hogs, guess where they're storing them at? Keeping them right by their water source. And I think through the, uh, the process of fermentation, that sterilizes the water, makes it thing to drink, but it's fermenting the juice, so they drink a lot of alcohol. They don't realize why boiling that water makes it safe. Maybe if you move your animals away from your water source, that would make it safe to drink. You know? So that's really the reason why these guys are living here. They're, they're so long. The good diet and plant exercise. Plus, you know, when you're, once you get to a certain age, they kind of say, okay, you're too old, get out of here. There's nothing you can do anymore for it. Just go off and die. It's kind of cruel and think about it. Now over here, our elders become our teachers. The more, when mom and dad are, you know, taking care of the family, who's teaching the kids? I want that a lot. Because they got a lot of knowledge passed down. Because let's face it, the dumb ones, they got to eat. I'll put the smart ones, you know, smart ones, live so if you make that advanced stage, you got a lot of going on upstairs. You want to pass that information. So there's no written language. Everything is passed down only like we're doing here. It has been for thousands of years. They had to pass them on now. So if you get up every morning knowing you've got this stupid job you have to do or need to do, plus you're here, you're going to get food, shelter, and water, being taken care of like we're supposed to take care of our elders. You know, they're going to make you a little bit longer. Keep that will get up in the morning and leave your life. I'll be saying. And that's kind of a real legend of the fountain.